All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. And well, I've got some problems with my test Unraid system that, well, I need to solve. Now, if you didn't watch the video on this one, it's basically just a setup and Unraid server for testing virtual machines, some of the new features they've got coming out. Problem is, there's one huge problem with this setup. Not a, one of which is case front won't come off, but anyway, the problem is there's no way to cool the hard drives. Literally, no way. You can't mount fans here. There's a dust filter for some reason, but there's no way to mount fans. And the problem is during a parity check, the hard drive gets really hot. 80, 90 C. These are refurbished hard drives. I don't expect them to really take that for very long. The original intent with this build was to kind of remote mount it somewhere. And honestly, I never de actually deployed this. The reason is, is with those temperatures, the hard drive was gonna fail really quickly and it's just, okay, screw it, <laughs> plan B. So we're gonna do something different. So the plan is back to rack mounting. <laughs> So the plan is to rehome it into this Silverstone case that I've already put in hot swap bays. Because obviously this is going to be a test system. It's going to be upgraded and changed and et cetera, et cetera. Before we get into transplanting, let's talk about the hardware. Now I initially had a GTX 1650 or 1660 in here. I pulled it out just because it was one connection. It was easier when I was messing around with my main Unraid server for video out when I was having some problems with it. Doesn't have a video out normally. So had to put a graphics card in there to troubleshoot. Now the platform itself is a Chinese Machinist X99 build with a UZ on. Now I forget exactly how many cores it is and threads. I'll try to put that in a note here. Cooler on it. It's got 64 gigs of ECC memory on it. And three used hard drives or refurbished hard drives and a SATA SSD. Of course, it is hooked up via Unraid via this key and that's how it's got set up. So we're gonna put it in the Silverstone case and we'll move on from, well, this pile of junk. The problem with this case is there's only two, there's only two additional fans I can mount in here and that's not gonna fix my issues, so. We're just gonna rehome it. Also, just for sake of the video, I've already reinstalled the power supply. If you wanna see how the power supply goes in the Silverstone case, watch my review of the Silverstone case or any of the builds I've done in there because I've done a couple and I've got two of these cases. So watch that video. All right, so first thing we gotta do, we'll go ahead and get hard drives out. I've already pulled the SATA cables. And the power supply obviously is already gone. And one of the things we're gonna have to do is replace this cooler with a low profile one for a 2U case. So pull all our connections off. Those connectors are always fun. Of course, our front panel connectors. Now we can go ahead and pull the platform out. Knock our shield out. Take these very crappy sleds and put them back in the case. Now, if you watch the video of me deprecating my Proxmox server, this is the case. Now off camera, I went ahead and installed the hot swap bays in place of the five and a quarter inch bays. Went ahead and installed the power supply. So really all I've got to do is figure out my standoffs and rehook everything back up and obviously wire it all up and my test system can go in my rack. Now, of course, that cooler is not gonna work. Kind of a little, little high. So we got to swap that before we can mount everything up. And I got to switch 
standoffs around. Now these standoffs, real simple, seven millimeter socket. And then we can put them in the proper place for this motherboard. And we will leave these where they are because we don't need them. And of course, clean everything up. Nobody can accuse me of not using enough thermal paste. <laughs> of course, this cooler will get used for something else. I'm actually in my main Unraid server and have it down for a good reason. It's probably swap this cooler over, over the stock AMD, just for noise. And the processor is a E52697AV4, 2.6 gigahertz. And what we're gonna use in its place is also from Thermalrite, their classic low profile CPU cooler that should, Go right on. Of course, really, really important, pull the sticker off. Cool fact, I didn't need to take off all the hardware. The hardware is all the same. So we're actually gonna reuse the hardware Thermal paste application, just so everybody can give me crap. Because it doesn't matter how much or how little you put on, it's wrong. All right, there we go. Now we can take our slimline fan, mount this bad boy up, should be good to go. Fan mounting is not my favorite, it's a little slidey, but it'll work. Obviously I've got it set for intake. Bring the old chassis over. Of course our uh, rear shield. So we're gonna go ahead and install a Quadro NVS 295, you know, for high performance gaming. Now it's just a matter of hooking up wires, including the cables for our hot swap bays. One PWM he header down here for the fans. Knock to extension for that. We need to, of course, hook up USB C, hook up Molex for the hot swap bays. Already hooked up the cables on the other end. Go ahead and, of course, hook up our 24 pin and our 8 pin. Obviously, if you want to upgrade to more hard drives, we can add some over here, but have to add a expansion card. Last thing left is hook up our front panel connectors for power and all that. And that's this little guy right here. Unfortunately, my graphics card that's installed here is DPI and I just looked around 
and I don't have a DPI to HDMI converter, so I can't use the TV to verify everything boots up. So I gotta hook it up to my rack and all that. But we can go ahead and boot it. Make sure it powers on. It does. The fan for the hot swap bay is a little loud. Um, so I might have to do something about that in the future. I gotta do some rearranging in my rack to actually get it to fit because I still have that 12 bay mounted in there. And well, I gotta rearrange some stuff to fit this into the rack. So hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.